Hello, welcome in. In today's video, we'll be shooting a tutorial for the acrobatics tower for Minecraft MMO that you see behind me. This will be a fully automatic acrobatics tower, and we achieve this by making it have over 50 unique drops. So it is a chain of over 10 acrobatics towers altogether. In the tutorial, I'll kind of show you how to make all the components of the tower, and then you'll just kind of have to, you know, repeat that over and over to kind of get the entire chain complete. If you want, I also in the description have a link to a Planet Minecraft download for a world save if you guys want to see this tower in person for yourself. And if you like this sort of video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe because I will be doing more Minecraft MMO tutorials in the future um, regarding all the different stats. But let's get into it. You guys enjoy. Big brain plays today. But yeah, so we'll be recreating this tower to kind of begin the stream. Um, I'm just going to kind of do a brief tutorial on how to build it because people on YouTube have been asking about it. Um, so it's just going to basically be the base of the tower, um, which is this water stream with the piston system, which is pretty simple. And that'll show them how to make like one or two tiers of the uh, tower because it's basically just repeating the same mechanism over and over and over again. Cut, copy, cut, copy, cut, copy. Let's go ahead and build the base real quick before it gets too late into the stream. I want to get through this pretty quick. So we'll grab this. Any block would do. Piston, redstone, redstone, yep. And then pressure plate. I like to use the black stone pressure plate just because it looks cool. Uh, let's grab string, tripwire, repeater. It's all we need, right? Water bucket, probably, if we're going to do the water stream bit. But I mean, that's pretty self explanatory. But I'll do it anyways. Water bucket and trapdoors. Oh no, gate. All right, so for the base, let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So it's a four by five base to start. That's pretty easy. I'm gonna go ahead and make it like three blocks high. That way it has a little bit room off the ground so I can, you know, drop it down into another water stream. But yeah, easy peasy four by five. Peanut, did you help me build any of these or you just watch me build them all? Peanut basically knows how to build this because he was there watching me <laughs> the entire time. But yeah, I'll do redstone this way into a repeater. I want my blocks here. That's how it is. The pistons are above the red stain so dust. That's right. Just like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I almost forgot, dude. It's been it's been so long. I could help you if I want. Yo, I will need you or Brogan, one of you two, since you guys have the highest unarmed on the server. I'll need you guys for that um, tutorial so you guys can disarm me. But yes, yeah, so we'll do this setup. You want to make sure the repeaters are going into the blocks that the pistons are on, and you want to make sure these are all four tick. I don't think the tick really matters on the bottom as much as it does on the top, but I just do this for any you know lag or server latency issues. It gives it a little bit of extra time to respond. Excellent. And then we'll just make a channel here for the water. Um, I made this channel, I believe, five blocks long as well. One, two, three, four, five. So it's another four by five, essentially. But yes, another four by five. And this will just be like a little water channel. So we just need to make this little one by high. I make this a little bit longer. And then we can place gates at the end of it, just like I saw. You can open the gates, and then we need two water sources, one here and one here. And you can make the base of this um, ice. I didn't really see too much of a speed difference between ice or regular blocks, so I don't think it's necessary. It seemed about the same. I mean, it is only a five block distance, so I mean, the, the water stream is still pretty powerful throughout the whole thing. But yeah, that is the base of each of the towers essentially 
Um, and then for the dropper mechanism itself, the thing that times each drop, and the thing, these repeaters, let's see how many there is. One, two, three, let me not hold a water bucket when I'm counting it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them. Four tick repeaters will make it so it's just over three seconds, which is the cutoff, the anti-AFK mechanism for Minecraft MMO. So you'll need eight of those bad boys. Oh, and I guess I could show you this part of the base mechanism as well, too. Which I probably should. Since it's like the more complex base that actually pushes into another water elevator. But Brogan is just scared. He just goes AFK every night. <laughs> I can't beat auto clickers. I mean, you can beat auto clickers. You can't beat them to a thousand probably, but like as soon as you get to a thousand, then you're going to be on the same level as them. It caps at a thousand. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you'll be fine. Okay, so if we're going to do this type of base, I think it's still five blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. <clears throat> but it drops off after three, it looks like. One, two, three. And we have these being pistons. So hold on, let me redo this a little bit. So it drops off after three. Okay, and then these are pistons. And these will have to be sticky pistons. And then what did we have? We had the string mechanism basically at the end of that, right? Like right here, but it's got to be wider. So can I join voice chat? Oh, maybe peanut. Possibly. We could probably do that. Back to working on the base here. We do need, I guess, three blocks away from the pressure plates. And then the strings will activate and we'll need a little bit of a redstone channel here. So that way we can put the signal down towards the piston. Let's see, the pistons are there. There we go. Do it like that. We want it this way, if we want it similar. So what is that, a four by three, essentially? Hi! And then what did I do with my redstone? Red sandstone. There we go. I guess I'll just check Discord whenever Peanut gets onto the server. And then we do a repeater here. <clears throat> a one here. Followed by two, and then one straight into that block. I think these are all four tick repeaters, I believe. I'll go ahead and double check that on the other side. And then, of course, we need redstone dust kind of linking all these up. Perfect, perfect. These are all four tick, right? Yeah. And then we'll need to do the same thing on this side, just a little bit quicker this time. Big platform like that. One more. And then we place two down here. Get out of my way, grass. Perfect. Then dust, 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 dust. And then the rest are repeaters. Make sure you have them in the right way. And then again, they should be all four tick. Bam. Just like that. It should work. Yay! Big pog, big pog. And again, we want that to basically push this after we've dropped down. Um, so let's see, do we have any trapdoors? Oh yeah, this is unique how we do this, dude. We do so trapdoors there and trapdoors on top. Okay. But we still need to create a chamber where we can basically fall into. We want this to basically be two blocks wide because this is going to be the soul stand there. I've almost got the base done and then we'll do basically the redstone repeater dropping mechanism here. Oh, we have to do the top too. So those three things, and then we'll have basically described the entire tower from, you know. Oh, hi, Peanut. Hi. Okay, so 
now that we have the glass thing, we have to do the trap door mechanism to basically stop the water flow that we were talking about. And I believe these blocks go over here. Is that enough of a gap to push us through? It is perfect. And then we do, can you get out of my way? And then we do slabs here on the side, I believe, trap doors here, and then trap doors there. I believe that's it. And then let me go ahead and just make this glass pretty. Oh, and time. Uh, you can really just use any glass. We could use any glass. And then building block. True. If you just used regular clear glass, it'd be really, really easy to get. You don't have to use this fancy blue stained glass that I'm using to match the, the water. But yeah, let's go ahead. How many blocks is this? This is three blocks tall so far. So this will be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm just gonna make it fourteen blocks tall so that way you guys can see basically two dropper mechanisms, essentially. And then I think I'm just going to go ahead and raise the uh, the water to the glass level in the tube with the soul sand, just to kind of get that ready. Because this process is annoying. I place two there first, and then here. All right, cool. That's stopping the water perfectly. But yeah, we're doing a live tutorial basically this year for a Minecraft MMO acrobatics tower. And which is why we're doing it in creative. That way we can just kind of get it done. Okay. And then I believe, let's count, but I believe this is seven chamber. drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. Sorry, what was that, Peanut? Luck. Luck. Is it working? <laughs> it's working. <laughs> okay, good. But yeah, I chose a seven block drop for the acrobatics tower because it's tall enough to, you know, give you a decent amount of XP, but not really hurt you too much. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect, without even counting, dude. I should have just trust my gut. And then I think we've got to go one more because we put the trap door actually one above that. So the trap door mechanism will be attached to that block. And then we go up and then out one. There we go. Um, trap wire or trip wire and string. All right. So we'll put up our string mechanism to trigger the trap doors that we have here. Actually, I should probably not put the string there so Peanut will trigger it too soon. Um, let's do, I believe this is four blocks out. So that way we can get eight repeaters. Yeah, four blocks out. Perfect. I just wanted to make sure. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to step it down. And then out. And then we'll attach it to the block that's underneath the uh, trap door. One, two, three, four. And this way we can get eight repeaters um, set up. And we'll, again, these repeaters are all going to be four tick repeaters. Um, so that way it'll be over three seconds, which is the amount of time that you need to wait in between drops to basically trigger the XP gain. Ain't that right, Peanut? Yes. Yeah, see, Peanut knows. <laughs> but yes, four ticks on each of these eight repeaters. We should have eight. Yeah, that's eight. And then you're going to need 50 unique drops. You'll have to make at least 50 of these throughout your entire chain of Acrobat towers if you want to make it fully automatic um, and there is you know ways that you'll kind of get stuck underneath pistons depending on your server latency and other things single player worlds you'll have less of an issue with that but i mean what's the point of having one of these on a single player world so i figure most people are building it on a server all right one two three four five six seven we'll do one more because that's usually where the trap door is is one more um, so yeah, bam. And this would basically be the top or the, yeah, 
where another water elevator comes up from a different tower right here. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, step it down. This is gonna be another thing. This one at the top doesn't actually have to be timed because you've already gone through the water elevator and everything, so you, you don't need to you know, extend this one at all. I still put eight repeaters though, um, but you could probably get away with less repeaters on the top one to be quite honest with you. You just need the signal to run all the way to the other end. But I'm still gonna put eight. But if you're building this and you're low on resources, I don't believe you have to use eight on the top ones. Because again, it doesn't have to be timed because you've already you know, wasted time in the water elevator to uh, be at least three seconds. Oh, let me not forget my redstone dust here in the corners and down here. Check everything, everything's good. Let's go ahead and put the string in. Listen to, you know, Peanut's beautiful rocket work. <laughs> okay, so we need to make this water elevator. I think the gap between this has to be, so this is the same height, one, two, three, before the pistons go down. Three blocks taller than the water flow. So there, and then one, two, three. And these will be just the normal pistons with the sticky pistons behind them. Oh, I'm sure he'll love them. Cool. I think this is our string right there. Yep, yep, like that. We need repeaters that go into the back of these. We need a repeater running from this, and I believe we have repeaters running this entire way as well. Let's go double check it up here. But I believe that's how we do it. Yeah, that's how we do it. And these are all gonna be four tick repeaters because we're gonna need these to be timed so that it pulls back the regular piston because it kind of gets stuck there if you don't you know, re-fire the sticky piston, as it were. And I guess we don't need repeaters running into the andesite blocks at the top. That's a redstone dust, it looks like. So I messed that up. It's just four repeaters and then two running into the andesite blocks. So yeah, we do want to place it ceiling at top so that way you don't get, you know, above the pistons and get stuck in them. Um, that happens more often if you don't put a ceiling there. Just a heads up. And then we'll put and a site running off the top of this there. So these will be the pressure plates. Okay. The reason it was six is because it's one longer so you can place the gates at the end so you can stop the water. Okay. So yeah, the, the top of this is basically done. This is just four repeaters with four ticks and then one repeater with one tick on this side to get it to pull back the other piston. But that's it. You wanna give it a shot, Peanut? Let me go ahead and set this today in clear weather real all quick. Right. I'm pretty sure we have it all completely up and running. All the repeaters are in place. And again, if you wanna make this on your own, you just have to make 50 unique drop points, um, which would basically be like this. So you can make them taller. I did what, 10 towers total, varying from five to seven drops in each tower. Um, I kind of made them a little bit higher to kind of get clearance on the tower from the next one. But uh, yeah, you'll just make a huge chain just like that. Where do I start? Right over here. Here. Mm -hmm. All right. Get like a capture of the whole system real quick. Dang it. I was hoping you'd fall first. 
I am doing a live tutorial right now, Teddy, so that's why the music's not on. This is going to be for YouTube later. Hey, there we go. Good job, Peanut. Yeah, hey. 